Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be addressing a question I've gotten a few times in the past regarding Dragon Quest IX. So, if you didn't know, Dragon Quest IX, which came out around 10 years ago, originally launched with an online option, online multiplayer options and online accessibility options. So, basically, in the original copy, in the original version of Dragon Quest IX, you could access some, something called the, the DQVC, which was a sort of online shop that allowed you to get exclusive items every week for Dragon Quest IX, and additionally you could download special maps, quests, and a lot of cool stuff, which was uh, gave the game a lot of replayability in the post-game. Unfortunately, Nintendo shut down the servers for the Nintendo DS a few years ago, and ever since that happened, this entire portion of Dragon Quest IX has been inaccessible for everyone. It's been pretty much impossible to play the game online and get the full experience for Dragon Quest IX. And a lot of people have asked me, how can I still access the special content without the with the servers being down? And today I'm going to show you how. There is a little workaround that I figured out uh, with the help of some people online. And I'm going to show you how to do it right now. So let's uh, jump right in. Alright, the first thing we need to do, of course, is bring out the system that we're going to be playing Dragon Quest IX on. So this right here is a piece of ancient technology from the olden days that we used to play games on and we're gonna be playing Dragon Quest 9 on this and we're gonna do it right on the original console it's not gonna be through an emulator or anything crazy like that so you can do this on your Nintendo DS your Nintendo DS Lite your 3DS all that stuff so yeah the I've got the DS Lite right here it's uh, my old DS Lite from childhood and we're gonna play this thing so here we go got Dragon Quest 9 booting up right now and the first step is coming up so I'm just gonna skip past all the, the logos at the beginning and the cutscenes so getting past that the first thing you want to do right this is my brother's copy actually he has over 200 hours put into the game you go down to this option right here and you of course press a this is configured DS Wi-Fi settings so you of course go here you have to have a new connection right and in order for this to work, you actually have to have no security on your Wi-Fi. You can't have a Wi-Fi password, otherwise your DS will not be able to connect to the internet. It's a pretty old system. So you have to turn off the Wi-Fi somehow, figure out how to turn off the Wi-Fi password, and have no password on your Wi-Fi. That's the only way to get the DS to connect online. So as you can see, I have the Wi-Fi turned off, uh, Wi-Fi password turned off, and I'm able to connect with my DS light. And there you have it. So testing the connection and it should work come on there we go all right so we're connected to the internet that's the first step which is pretty difficult on its own nowadays the next thing you have to do is go into the actual thing you tap the ready button right of the connection you just created so what we do is actually we scroll down you got to scroll down to the bottom now you see this auto obtain DNS you want to turn you want to turn auto obtain DNS off, press no, and then you go to primary DNS and you say edit. So now you need to type in the exact numbers I'm typing in right here. You need to type in, okay, one, seven, two, okay, zero, one, zero, four, it's one, zero, four, uh, and there's 88, two, three, seven. So 172-104-88-237. You gotta type that in, and you have to make sure that it's ex this exact number for it to work. And that should be just about it, what you need to do. That's really literally it. That's that's what this is what you do to get to get the DS online working for Dragon Quest IX. So we're gonna go back, right, to the main menu. I'm gonna go back in, in just a second. So just I'm gonna master all this. Come on should work all right so continue your adventure now in order to access the vc you need to go to the city stornway which is where i am actually right now you go to stornway and you want to go to the the pub patty's pub so we head over if i can remember where the heck it is uh nope not there that's embarrassing uh, um, it, Patty's Pub is right here, so we're gonna go to the inn here, and what you want to do, right? 
uh, you want to go to this inn. Let's go inside here. And there's a woman here you need to talk to. So on the far... I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So the woman with the... Uh, the blonde woman with the green bow, you got to talk to her. So we talk to her. Selma. Hello, welcome to DQVC, the shopping service, right? So this is where we test to see if it works. So connect to Nintendo Wi-Fi. And let's see if this thing works. Let's see if we can access it. Come on. Downloading data. Oh, it's working. Look at that. And it's successfully downloaded. So the DQVC, it works. You see that? It works in 2020. It is the year 2020, 10 years after Dragon Quest IX came out. And it worked. Let's check out the shop. All right, venture log saved successfully. There it is. That's the DQVC shop. So there's some new stuff here, too. There's like some skeleton, Jolly Roger, Santa Claus outfit you can wear. It's all there, so isn't that cool? So there's a there's a method to, to access all this crazy stuff now in 2020 on your DS, on your Nintendo DS, you can access the Dragon Quest Online store. And this doesn't just give you these clothes, it gives you a lot of cool stuff. It gives you things like quests, it gives you actual in-guests, so old characters from the Dragon Quest series can actually visit your inn and they'll have their own room and you can talk to them and they'll give you stuff depending on when you talk to them like if you talk to them on your birthday they give you something ah crap okay i went to the wrong floor we'll go visit an uh you know an old dragon quest character i'll show you how how it is so yeah this is uh one of the one of the, the royal suites i think but there's nobody there's nobody here right now so there's, but there's a lot of cool stuff you can unlock with the DQVC, and without that, it actually does uh, limit a lot of the features that Dragon Quest IX has. So, you know, I hope this helps people uh, enjoy the game, people who haven't played it back then, who haven't played it 10 years ago or whatever. Uh, me and my siblings uh, got Dragon Quest IX when we were in, like, elementary school or, like, middle school, and we played the crap out of it. So we have all these different rooms, right? with all the different characters. These are all legacy Dragon Quest characters. You can visit them and talk to them. Pretty cool. So, who do we want to talk to today? Uh, I'd say we want to maybe go to Elena's room. So we're going up. Alright, there, there she is. And let's talk to her. Now I travel for to make stronger in preparation of next tournament. I become more stronger every day. She needs more English every day. <laughs> okay, and uh, we already exhausted a lot of the uh, equipment that she can give us. It's a, this is cool though. So um, I'd like to see other people try to do this and see if it works. Because I'm really interested in knowing if this method works properly or not. So yeah, if... Uh, if this helped you out, please let me know. I want to know what you guys did with this. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.